everyone, I'm Miss Lizbeth, and I'm here today with Miss Amanda. We work at the Menominee Falls Public Library. We're here today to share some stories about veterinarians in partnership with Falls Cable Access and Family Pet Clinic. So let's jump into our first story. I'm going to use the flannel board to tell you a story based on this book, Bark George, by Jules Pfeiffer. This is the story about a dog with a very unusual problem. What sound do dogs make? That's right, they bark. Well, every time George's mother asks him to bark, something very interesting happens. So she takes George to the veterinarian. Let's listen to the story and find out what's happening with George. George's mother said, bark George. And George went, meow. No, George, cats meow, dogs bark. Now bark George. So George went, quack quack. No, George, ducks quack, dogs bark. Now bark George. George went, oink oink. No, George, pigs go oink. Dogs go woof. Now bark, George. George went moo. So George's mother took George to the veterinarian. The veterinarian said, I'll get to the bottom of this. Now bark, George. George went meow. So the vet reached deep inside of George and pulled out a cat. Now bark, George. George went quack, quack. So the vet reached deep, deep inside of George and pulled out a duck. Bark again, George. George went oink, oink. So the vet reached deep, deep, deep inside of George and pulled out a pig. The vet said, bark again, George. And George went moo. So the vet reached deep, 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 deep inside of George and pulled out a cow. Now bark, George. And George went, woof. George's mother was so happy. She kissed the vet, and she kissed the cat, and the duck, and the pig, and the cow. And on the way home, George's mother wanted to show George off to everyone she met. So she said, bark, George. And George said, hello. <laughs> that was silly. Should dogs say hello? No, I think George needs to go back to the vet. Now I have another story to share using our flannel board. This story is based on the picture book, Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See? which is written by Bill Martin Jr. and illustrated by Eric Carle. This is one of my favorite animal stories. And today I'm going to share a special version of this story with you. This version is called Veterinarian, Veterinarian, What Do You See? And as I tell this story, I am going to need your help identifying all the different pets that our veterinarian sees. Here's our veterinarian. Let's get ready to help her out. Veterinarian, veterinarian, what do you see? I see a black dog looking at me. Black dog, black dog, what do you see? I see a calico cat looking at me. Calico cat, calico cat, what do you see? I see an orange hamster looking at me. Orange hamster, orange hamster, 
What do you see? I see a green turtle looking at me. Green turtle, green turtle. What do you see? I see a blue parakeet looking at me. Blue parakeet, blue parakeet. What do you see? I see a yellow lizard looking at me. Yellow lizard, yellow lizard. What do you see? I see a gray rabbit looking at me. Gray rabbit, gray rabbit. What do you see? I see a brown horse looking at me. Brown horse, brown horse. What do you see? I see children looking at me. Children, children, what do you see? We see a veterinarian, a black dog, a calico cat, an orange hamster, a green turtle, a blue parakeet, a yellow lizard, a gray rabbit, and a brown horse looking at us. That's what we see. The end. Thanks for helping to identify all the pets in the story. Those were some fun stories about veterinarians and the pets they care for, weren't they? Now let's visit Family Pet Clinic in Menominee Falls and meet some real veterinarians. Hi kids, my name is Caitlin and I'm a vet tech here at Family Pet Clinic. Family Pet Clinic is a veterinary clinic. Do you know what a veterinarian is? A veterinarian is a doctor that your dog, cat, hamster, well, any pet goes to so that they can stay happy and healthy. My name is Jackie and I'm an assistant here at Family Pet Clinic. Jackie and I are so excited to have you here with us to learn some important information about how to keep your family pet safe and healthy. Let's start by having Dr. Felons come in so that he can take a look at Dante. Hi kids, my name is Dr. Felons and I'm a veterinarian. And one of my um, great joys is to be able to take care of animals. And so this is Dante, he's here for vaccines today. So we're going to check him over, examine him, make sure that he's healthy prior to giving him his vaccination. Also, um, when we do his vaccination, we'll be using some treats for him to help make the vaccine less uncomfortable for him. So we're gonna start by just examining him, uh, feeling him, um, cats can't talk. So we're gonna rely on our exam of him and feeling him, see if he's showing any painful spots. We're gonna see, feel for any lumps and bumps. We're also gonna check if he has any fleas that might be causing discomfort for him. And everything looks good there. And then the next thing we're gonna do is take a look at his teeth, make sure that they're healthy. And so we are gonna hold him like this real gently and we're gonna lift up his lips and get a look inside his uh, mouth. Good boy, buddy. And we can see that his teeth look really good, so that's good. And then we're going to check his eyes to make sure that they're healthy. We're looking for any signs of infection and everything looks good there. And then we're gonna look in his ears and for looking in his ears, we use what's called an otoscope. And that allows me to get a look down deep in his ear canals. And we're gonna look at him like this. And his ears look good. I don't see any signs of infection or anything like that. And then the next thing we wanna do is check his heart and lungs to make sure that they're healthy. So we're gonna use Another instrument for that called a stethoscope. Good kitty, Dante. And when we listen to his heart, um, everything sounds good. We're checking to see if there's any heart murmurs or if his heart rate is too fast or too slow. And fortunately for Dante, everything looks good. So the next thing that we're going to do is check his abdomen. Uh, this is his tummy. We're going to feel for any internal masses. We're going to check his um, internal organs and make sure everything's okay there. And you can see Dante is um, um, really enjoying this. He's being petted by Caitlin, my vet tech, so he doesn't realize that he's even getting examined. And everything looks good there. So because he checked out healthy, we are now able to go ahead and give him his vaccine. And so I've got his vaccine right here. 
and we're going to give him a little whipped cream as a treat to distract him while we do the vaccine. Well, and he'll get to clean up the table after. Good kitty. And as you can see, he didn't even react to the vaccine. So this concludes his exam, and then we'll most likely be seeing him next year again for another exam and his next set of boosters. Our next patient today is Zeus, and Zeus needs a bandage. When your pet gets hurt or has surgery, they need a bandage just like when you scrape your knee. We use special bandage materials for animals such as antibiotic ointment, no stick pads, gauze, sticky vet wrap, and tape. Are you ready, buddy? Let's start with the antibiotic ointment and then we'll get his paw wrapped up. Good boy. Who's such a good boy? Zeus. Good boy. Good boy. Almost done, buddy. Good job. You're such a good boy. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Almost done. Just a little bit of tape and that's going to hold it all together. There you go. You're all done. Nice and easy. Now you can go back home with your mom. <laughs> Our next patient is Tiffany and she needs a nail trim. Let's show everybody how to do a nail trim safely. I'm going to hold Tiff like I'm giving her a hug. That way she's not going to feel like she'll fall down when we pick up her paws. Good girl. Good girl. In all animal nails, they have something called a quick. It's a blood vessel that runs into the nail. We have to be very careful not to cut it because that can hurt. Some pet owners get nervous about accidentally hurting their pet when they do a nail trim. That's why they bring their cats and dogs to us. We do a lot of nail trims every day, so we're pretty good at doing them. Good job, Tiffany. Here's a treat. All done. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> Sometimes when your pet doesn't feel good, they come to the vet. Maybe their tummy hurts or their legs bothering them. To help figure out what the problem is, we can take an x-ray. We're going to use a special patient today to take our x-ray. This is Benny the Beagle. We're going to use him so that nobody gets stressed out. Let's take a picture of Benny's tummy. We'll lay him down gently and turn on the light so we know where our picture will be. Are you ready? One, two, three. Great news. Nothing serious. Benny just has a tummy ache. With a little bit of medication and a bland diet, he should be feeling better in about a week. Now, if it was something serious, we might have to do surgery. Let's go out to the surgery area and we can show our kids how we get an animal prepped for surgery. Let's go, Benny. When an animal needs to have surgery or their teeth cleaned, we do that while they're sleeping. We call this anesthesia. Sometimes they'll get a shot to make them sleepy. Other times we use a special gas. Let's show them how we use a tube to get the gas into their lungs. All right, Benny, be brave. Good job. All set, now let's turn on the gas. All done. Now that Benny's ready for surgery, the doctor will come in and do all the work while we monitor his heartbeat, breathing, and temperature. I'm really glad that we're only pretending to do surgery on Benny, Caitlin. Me too. Well, kids, that's some of the stuff we do here at Family Pet Clinic. I hope you learned how to keep your family pet safe and healthy. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. We hope that you had fun exploring Family Pet Clinic from home. I don't know about you, but I learned a lot about the important work that veterinarians do to keep our pets safe and healthy. If you'd like to read more books about pets and veterinarians, head over to our library or visit the library's website at menominiefallslibrary.org to find some books that we picked out especially for you. Thanks so much for joining us. We'll be back with more videos soon. In the meantime, 
Make sure to check out Falls Cable Access Channel 14 for more videos. We'll see you soon.